Meanwhile, as we continue the scandal palooza of the White House, uh, you know that uh, James Rosen, uh, investigated by the Department of Justice, uh, an FBI agent and also a U.S. attorney, uh, came up with some crazy trumped-up charges and, and tried to get a judge to sign. Uh, he was a flight affidavit. risk. And he did. Also, he was, you know, essentially a co-conspirator in violations of the Espionage Act. Well, who ultimately signed off on the search warrant of Jane Rose, James Rosen? The answer is Eric Holder, the Attorney General for the United States. And what's uh, delicious about this and troubling at the same time is that, you know, uh, yesterday the President of the United States ordered a 45-day review of you know, the leak investigations, and who did he put in charge of it? Eric Holder. In other words, Eric Holder will be investigating Eric, Eric Holder. <laughs> well, here's the thing, Anna. Not, he's not, he's not, has uh, a habit of recusing himself without telling anybody. So maybe he'll recuse himself of the investigation, uh, the Department of Justice investigation, because he realized he's the one who issued the investigation. So maybe he'll re sure. recuse himself from the investigation. Maybe. Yeah, he recused himself from, from the phone records from the right. Associated Press, and this previously had not been reported about, about him signing off on James Rosen and, and Fox News. And mm -hmm. the president's newsless speech yesterday, uh, which was 50 minutes of, uh, I think, self-therapy. Uh, let me tell you why I did something. Let me tell you, my, let's tell myself what's going to be new. Well, the president, yeah, the president was talking about how the war is over. Uh, too bad the other side doesn't know that. Yeah. I mean, and this, and is... Th this is a look at just all of the phone records that were seized and the phone detail uh, asked for by the Department of Justice. And James Rosen just doing his job. I mean, I'm, I'm proud to work at Fox News in this, this hour in history because this, you know, this potentially could go down in the history books. It's a First Amendment issue. James Rosen was just doing his job, and he is a very good reporter. And well, by the way, I'm going to use this time to say James Rosen will be on the radio with me a little bit later. Oh, fantastic. He'll, a good plug. Also, David uh, Zerwick at the Baltimore Sun, longtime media critic, he said, uh, look, the, way, the White House is way over the line on this. He writes today, Team Obama picked the wrong guy to treat like a criminal for doing his job as a journalist. James Rosen is one of the best journalists broadcast or print that I have ever covered or met. You know who his childhood yeah. friend is? Rich Eisen of the NFL Network. Fun fact there.